It's the same bill we killed last week. Is the individual with the Archbishops Association here? Uh, I think his name is Abramson. Could you come here, please? Okay, Representative LaBruzzo. Thank you, Madam Chair and members. Uh, I'd like to first uh, make something clear for the record. Um, I want to make it clear that I realize that oftentimes, uh, out of deference to your colleagues, uh, uh, the chairwoman may not uh, vote, and it doesn't particularly uh, it doesn't particularly have an impact or, or a reference to whether or not it's supported or not. It just uh, means she's chosen out of uh, tradition and deference not to vote. That being said, I would uh, like to address this, min, uh, uh, this bill. And uh, we talked about it a bit last week. I think we kind of um, appreciate what it does. And what it does, it's, it says if you are an illegal alien. What's the number the, of your bill? I'm sorry, it's 887. Yeah. If you are an illegal alien in the state of Louisiana, it would prohib prohibit you from suing for malpractice except for future medical and as amended except for if you are a minor. Uh, and those are two exceptions. Um, if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer any questions you have at this time. Um, these are your cards on your bill. Um, have you, did you look, oh, we have one more. <laughs> have you looked at the constitutionality of this bill at all? Uh, I, of course, I'm not an attorney, but being advised by the staff attorneys, at no time did anyone tell me or, or direct me that this bill would be unconstitutional. We've passed uh, similar bills like this in this session and in previous sessions that uh, prohibit illegal aliens from enjoying many of the same rights that we do as citizens. Like what? Um, uh, let me, I can't think of any right this time. I just uh, know we've passed some in the past and... Uh, I don't recall any. Well, And are you let me, familiar let me, with the 14th Amendment of the United States Constitution? I'm not as familiar as you are, Senator, as an attorney. It says no, no state shall deprive any person of life, liberty, or property without due process of law, or deny to any person within its jurisdictions the equal protection of civil law. Do you know what the definition of a person is under federal law and state law? Why don't you fill me in on that? <laughs> it's an individual partnership, unincorporated association, stock company, uh, but it's an individual. Do you consider illeg illegal aliens individuals? Under, under the law of, as far as rights, I would say no, not under the, these, uh, this, cons this bill. So an illegal alien is not an individual. You, you asked me if I, I thought so. That's I what I said. According, I'm sorry. According to you, you don't think an illegal alien is an individual. Um, let, let, me, let, me, uh, let me back up a little bit. <laughs> And, and I, I appreciate the fact that we're having a good time. This is, this is a long day, and it's great to ha have some yeah, fun. Yeah, I figured we could have some comedic intervention between all of the... I, I, think, it, I think it's great. But this is what I, what I think also. I represent a lot of constituents, uh, as do you, and um, we pay a lot of taxes and services mm -hmm. for people in our own state. And then you and I have to make decisions every day as to whether or not we're going to spend more money on health care or more money on education or more money on other services. Any time that the state of Louisiana is sued in a med mal case, whether it be a charity, mostly the charity facilities, 
That money comes right out of the general fund. So that's less money that we had to spend on roads, on education, on health care for our own constituents, our own citizens that are born in the United States and participate in our state, uh, in the state of Louisiana and pay taxes. Now, my bill is simply to say that we should give deference and consideration to our own constituents, people in Louisiana legally who pay taxes and participate in the process legally. I think that we should, as citizens of the United States and of Louisiana, realize that when someone's here illegally, that they shouldn't enjoy the same rights as legal citizens. And that's all this bill de deals with. And uh, many of our constituents feel the same way. In fact, Representative Labruzzo, I think you came to me after the last bill and asked me if I realized that this issue polled number one in now Congressman Scalise's poll, correct? It's true. This is a very, very important issue, not just particular issue, just Ill illegal aliens in, in general. Mm -hmm. And the illegal issue is very important to people in Louisiana. So while I would agree with you that it's very important, as legislators, do you think it's incumbent upon us to do things that are legal and constitutional? Yes, I do. But I also think that if there's some uh, ambiguity, we should go ahead and do what we feel is right by the constituents well, and let the courts decide. Let me clear up, clear up that ambiguity. Um, not only under the United States Constitution, but under the Louisiana Constitution. Let's go to the Louisiana Constitution. There are two kinds of persons, natural and juridical. Natural is a human being. Okay, so do you think an illegal alien is a human being? Sure, absolutely. Okay. Well, we agree on something. So at least you think illegal aliens are human. Access to courts under the Louisiana Constitution. Every person, which means a human being, shall have an adequate remedy by due process of law for injury to him, his person, or property. There is a United States Supreme Court case which states that an injured party's cause of action is a vested property right, which you can't take away without due process of law. Excuse me, Senator. I think last time we were here, you had made an argument uh, for my bill in saying that you felt that for a citizen, we can intervene in their uh, property rights, but for an illegal, we couldn't. And you th felt that that was un fundamentally unfair, if I rem remember correctly. Maybe you can rem Refresh my memory, which you were referring to. Sorry, I honestly didn't understand what you just said. Um, <laughs> now I'm going to read the cards. We have Joe Donchus in support and would like to speak, and Ron Gu in support, does not wish to speak. Mr. Donchus. Thank you, Madam Chair, members of the committee. I'm Joe Donchus with Louisiana Nursing Home Association. And I would agree this is not a laughing matter. We rise in support of House Bill 887 because it will act as a deterrent for those illegal immigrants who are looking at Louisiana as a place to work. At least 18 states have enacted laws to deter the growth and population of illegal immigrants. In Oklahoma, state legislators passed sweeping legislation to prohibit government subsidies. It also meets out fines to employers who hire illegal immigrants. In Virginia, a new law will strip charities and other organizations of state and local funding if any of the money is used to provide services to illegal immigrants. And a, a law in North Carolina provides that community college boards, and not the governor, have authority to set policy on whether to admit illegal Im immigrants into their college, uh, uh, community colleges. Louisiana's nursing homes need LPNs and nursing assistants and we have tried to access foreign nurses, but LPNs and nursing assistants fall under the category of H-2B visa, and the wait for that classification of worker is years. We believe that as long as there are 12 million illegal aliens in this country, Congress and INS will not approve a larger flow of foreign workers under the H-2B visa into the country. 
HB 887 is a way to join those 18 other states in establishing a method which says if you violate federal law by entering our country illegally, then don't expect the protections of Louisiana's Medical Malpractice Act and the benefit it provides to those who are injured by a health care provider, including a state-operated hospital or nursing home. The bill does not deny them access to health care, and TALA ensures them of that. Please vote for House Bill 887. Thank, Thank you, you, Mr. Donches. We have um, two persons in opposition that would like to speak, Mr. Duke Williams and also Mr. Rob Tasman. Thank you, Madam Chairwoman and members. My name is Rob Tasman. I am the lobbyist for the Catholic Bishops of Louisiana. I spoke with you briefly last week about many of the issues that this bill has within it. And I'd like to just touch upon those very briefly. Again, there's no sense repeating myself. Senator Quinn raised many of the constitutional issues that this bill has buried within it, and that is a huge issue. Uh, Mr. Donches just testified to the fact that many states have passed laws similar to this, and that is in fact true. However, those states are also now caught up in litigation that is costing those states millions, in some cases, of dollars. Mr. John Doncha specifically mentioned the state of Oklahoma, and I'd like to tell you that in Oklahoma what happened was the immigrant population left the state feeling that it was unfriendly, and the economy of the state of Oklahoma went to the tanks. I have a quote for you here from the only Republican member of the Oklahoma State Legislature who voted against those immigration bills. His name is Senator Harry Coates. And he said, you really have to work hard at it to destroy our state's economy. But we found a way. Representative Labrusso also spoke about taxes. I believe it was Benjamin Franklin who said that there were only two things certain in life, death and taxes. And there's a myth that undocumented immigrants do not pay taxes. According to the Immigration Policy Center, between one-half and three-quarters of undocumented immigrants pay federal and state income taxes, Social Security taxes, and Medicare taxes. And all undocumented immigrants pay sales tax and property tax, even if they rent. In these cases, what usually happens is the amount of taxes that the undocumented immigrants pays is below the amount, excuse me, it far exceeds the amount of the services that they are claimed to be taking advantage of. So that is an issue as well. The Catholic bishops have opposed all the immigration bills that have come through the legislature this session. They believe in enforcement of federal laws, which are the immigration laws coming under federal jurisdiction, as well as an earned path to citizenship for the 12 million some odd undocumented immigrants who are already within our country. The church does not promote anything illegal. It does not wish for open borders. Rather, it believes that this issue and matter should be taken up at the federal level because it is, it is those at the federal level who not only have the jurisdiction, but as well as the expertise to deal with this issue. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you. Mr. Williams. Good morning, Senator Quinn. Just briefly, you've covered the con uh, constant. Just introduce yourself. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm record. sorry. Duke Williams, Louisiana Association for Justice. Thank you. Uh, I, I, I won't go into the constitutional argument. I, I actually did a little bit of research on this issue, and I've come to the same conclusion for what it's worth. This bill is clearly unconstitutional. What it is is political pandering, pure and simple. When any lawmaking body seeks through legislation to prioritize the value of human life or human suffering, we do violence not just to the Constitution, uh, but to ourselves. That's all I had to add. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Williams. Thank you, Mr. Tasman. I'd like to read the cards in opposition, and then we'll uh, bring Mr. Representative Labruzzo back up. Marco Balducci with Catholic Charities in opposition. Ted Harmon, uh, defense attorney. Colette Pichon Battle, uh, an attorney. I can't read the organization. I apologize. I, something America. I'm sorry? Ox, Oxstem. Ox, 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 Spell it. O-X-F-A-M. 
Oxfam, thank you. Oxfam America. Okay, we have, what does that stand for? Oxfam. Thank you. Ken Mayu with Catholic Charities of Baton Rouge. Um, we have that one already. Reverend Walter Bayer with Grace Episcopal Church and Louisiana Interchurch Conference of Baton Rouge. Colette Tipping, the Congress of Day Laborers. Jeffrey Little, a law clerk. Damian Ramos, representing Stand. Sheila Delgado. Ilana Sherl, Lucas Diaz, Justine Diamond, Kara Zacks, Jeff Spencer with the New Orleans Workers Center for Racial Justice, Annie Gibson with Tulane, Marcel Bolu with Tulane, Enrique Varkla, Lanny Villabos with the Workers' Rights Initiative, Jill Fournay, with Fuentes New Orleans Inc., Allison Bakamjan, with Fuentes New Orleans, Emily Sala, a law clerk, Robert Caldwell, concerned citizens with property owners throughout the state, Leah Spivey, Miriam Grespo, Vanessa Stubbs, Haywood Talbert with Stand, Daisy Bearhorst, Maria Bermudez, Tamar McFarlane, Corrine Bart, Bridget Smith, Calder Lynch with AARP, and Mary Linda Francis with AARP. And we have two more. Oh, no, those are ones I read already. Uh, Senator Murray, you had a question? Uh, Representative Labruzzo, you want to come back up? I just, I, I stepped out and maybe you covered it, and if you did, don't worry about answering it again, but I, last week you said that there were uh, a whole bunch of hospitals where 80% of the beds were taken up by illegal immigrants, and I asked you then. I didn't say that. Well, you did. Yeah, you did. I said, you did I didn't say, say a whole bunch of hospitals. I said I was told by a colleague of mine, Joe Harrison, that he said his hospital had that problem. Now, once I asked you to name some, you, you, then you said that there was one man homer, but before that you said there were a bunch. Well, I, I, okay. I, I clarify it. What I'm, what I'm going to state now is Joe Harrison told me he had a problem with this in his hospital. And those were the numbers he gave me. Okay. So I'll, I'll, that's what I submit. Okay. Okay. Um, Labru so Representative Laburzo, would you like to? Close? I'd like to close, sure. And we had a lot of Catholic uh, um, representation here stating how they. Uh, were against the bill. I went to a Catholic school most of my life. And when I was taught by the Brothers of the Sacred Heart were to follow the rules, follow the law, you know, obey what is, is right and, and, and don't cheat and don't steal and don't rob and, and whatever the law is and the rules, play by the rules. That's what I was taught my whole, uh, my whole life. And I think it's, it blows my mind to hear the same people that educated me come up here and say that you know we shouldn't follow the rules we shouldn't we should make exceptions we should not abide by the law or we should turn a blind eye to what the law says and and that's in regards to having people uh, in our state illegally um, and that's that's basically all I'd have to say on comp and closing. Thank you. Thank you, Representative Labruzzo. Actually, what, that's the problem here. What the law says is whether they're here illegally or not, they, get, they are entitled to uh, certain rights. If we don't like that, that's a different issue, and we can change the Constitution. My real offense to this is I think you've brought this bill for political reasons. In fact, I've been told by several people, you were laughing on the House side and at Ruth's Chris Steakhouse about the five people that voted against it in the House and you have their names and y'all are going to be able to use this against them the next campaign. So you put a thought I don't recall that. I don't recall that. And, well, and I, I take offense that you would even say something like that. Well, that, that didn't take place. That did not take place. Okay. That's, 
your testimony is it didn't take place. That's a fact. All... That's not my testimony. That's a fact. It did not take place. Well, there's other testimony that it did. Oh, well, have you come here and testify on the record and say that they, it, it did. And, and let's talk you about put it. put us in a bad spot because no one here wants to take an illegal alien's rights over a United States citizen. But the bottom line is we're stuck with what's provided in the United States Constitution. And we can't waste taxpayers' money in litigating this. And that's what you've done today. Without thinking about whether this was legal or constitutional, you want us to pass something that's unconstitutional and illegal so that we can Senator fight. Senator Clinton, we have plenty of attorneys here that are very capable and competent attorneys. Not one of them in drafting this legislation for me advised me that this bill needed to be redrafted or rewritten in any way because it was unconstitutional. Now, either the staff here has issues, which I don't believe that's the case. I believe they're very competent staff. Or there's a question as to whether or not this is constitutional or not. And I think if there's a question, let's let the courts decide. But I believe we shouldn't allow our doctors and our hospitals and our nurses to be subject to, to frivolous lawsuits uh, or not frivolous lawsuits and let them be sued by people that aren't even citizens. That's where this bill comes from. Regardless of anything else that's been said here, this bill comes from protecting our hospitals and protecting our doctors. The problem is... Who give free health care more I'm often not than not. going to pass something that's clearly unconstitutional because it's popular. I'm just not going to waste taxpayers' money. If you want to change the Constitution, then let's talk about that. I move to defer... Um, House Bill 887. I'm sorry. You're right. Um, well, actually, uh, Senator Dupre is next. Senator Dupre. Thank you, Madam Chair. Well, being my hospital was mentioned just in passing in Javert Medical Center, I think we normally we have about 80 beds in there that are operational, and 60 of the 80 people that's maybe in that hospital on day-to-day -day business are not illegal immigrants. I've checked with my uh, hospital administrator, that is absolutely not true. Now, there are frequent immigrants in the emergency room, but you can't distinguish between who's illegal and legal immigrants when you're in the ER. I don't think you're allowed to ask. The vast majority of them, because the home of Terrebonne area has the lowest unemployment in the state of Louisiana, are legal immigrants working for these companies. And if we want to get to the core of this problem, is the cost of health care for whether it's legal or illegal immigrants brought in, uh, that are working in this country. Now, what needs to occur next year or something is that if somebody shows up and they're working at company XYZ, and they show up at our ER, at our, our state hospitals, or any hospital, then that, their employer should be liable for the one-third cost share of their health care. That is going to get to the core of the problem. But passing a bill which we know as soon as the governor signs it, there'll be an injunction and put it in court that'll probably ultimately go all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court, be declared unconstitutional both by our state constitution and our federal constitution, it's going to cost mega millions of dollars just to make a political statement. Sure. Well, Next let me hear if you want to file a bill to force people who bring in immigrants, whether illegal or illegal, to sign up and pay for their share, the, the, the proportional one-third share of, of, of what we having to put up as state taxpayers, I think would be the wise you direction have, to go in. You have a issue. great uh, point there, and with that, I'd like to volunteer to defer this bill. Senator Kostelka. Well, if, if he's voluntarily deferring the bill, I don't know that I need to have my say. But <clears throat> uh, I want to point out that I think this committee, and Ms. Madam Chairman, I voted with you on several matters today, but I take umbrance also at, at, at you attacking a legislator in committee. That is not the function of this, leg of this committee. It's not the function of a, of a uh, chairperson of a committee. If we want to debate an issue, we can debate it on the floor of the Senate. Uh, 
I have questions about the constitutionality and was prepared to vote uh, against this bill at one time, but now I would vote for the bill because I do just do not agree with the treatment that uh, Senator Labruzzo has, or Representative Labruzzo has received at the hands of this committee. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Senator Murray. Um, I want to make a motion, but I thought you had already made one to defer, and I don't know if you still uh, need to do it. I have a motion to defer House Bill 887, to which we have an objection. If they would let me voluntarily defer it, I would, I would voluntarily defer it. I, 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 think, uh, I think I can count. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we have <coughs> Representative, well, Representative Green has been, Nobody wants to come up. <laughs> he was here and had the pot. He was here first today. <laughs> Been here since like 8:45. He was here. And he's the chairman of Ways and Me. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.